I'm Belusa. I'm an English teacher at IT Lit Lyceum. Now I've been teaching English for about 16 years now. And today we, with Ms. Zamir and the Xenia, to are planning to have kind of long-term speaking club with you, with English local teachers, local English teachers, and the, I hope it will be successful. Thank you. Thank you. Ksenia, can, can you give us some information about yourself? Yeah, my name is Ksenia Likula and I am an English teacher at Nazarbayev Intellectual School of Physics and Mathematics in Shankent. And actually one of my first duties there was to become a leader of a TEDx club. So now I would like to tell you a little information about what is it and uh, what are the rules and regulations of using TEDx in the process of, in the process of teaching, learning, and so on. Mm -hmm. So now I'm demonstrating my screen. So can you please tell me if you can see my presentation? Yes. Yeah, we can. It's OK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, OK, thank you. So uh, the presentation is done in the Russian language. Um, maybe it's, it might be a good store so if to avoid some misunderstandings and so on. So let's begin. First of all, my aim now to raise awareness about what TEDx and what TED are. And uh, today we'll also discuss about the advantages of using these at school and in teaching languages and not only. Uh, so let's begin here. So first of all, TED and TEDx. The difference between them is that TED is an organization that is located in the USA. And uh, this organization is really famous. I'm sure lots of you have watched some videos on YouTube about uh, famous inventions, design, different technologies. Actually, really famous people go to TED and it's really prestigious. Mm -hmm. Bill Gates, um, different designers, Jane Goodall, biologists, and uh, etc. So it's really prestigious to give a speech at TED, but TED is an organization and they control everything they do, which is why here we have TEDx. So X, it means independently organized event. And actually without getting the license to become a TEDx organizer or become a part of TED Club, actually no one is allowed to use this abbreviation to use TEDx. It is punished and uh, unfortunately it might be done in different countries, but if the organization TED finds out about this um, country and maybe schools and other license holders will be punished. So which is why you just need to go to a TED.com read about this and uh, find out how to acquire a license. It's not a difficult process, but if you get this, you give your students lots of opportunities in their life and in their like getting to good universities because it's prestigious to become an official TEDx speaker. So there are the most important advantages of using this technology in the process of teaching and learning. So look here, not only languages are developed by means of TEDx. First of all, you develop your project activities with students because uh, when a student is writing a speech, he should give some scientific information and it's not like a report. It's more like an experiment that he or she describes in front of other people. Of course, students develop their critical thinking, their research skills. They also um, implement the concept of global citizenship because TEDx is an organization that unites nations, countries, and it's highly and vitally important nowadays. You can also integrate different subjects. So my students integrate, of course, English, uh, by the way, not only English TEDx might be conducted in different languages. So they integrate languages and the subject they're writing speech about. For example, it might be IT, physics, biology, and so on. 
Also, they try to solve problems. When they describe a problem, of course, they should find ways how to solve it and suggest their own solutions. They also develop communication skills because they discuss different ideas. They get feedback not from me, from a teacher, but they get feedback from each other. So they learn how to give fair and honest feedback to each other. They also learn about themselves. Believe me, the, the most favorite topic of all my students is actually self-reflection. They try to analyze why do they do different things in their life. For example, why do they depend on different people's opinions about their personality, about their appearance? So they try to analyze themselves very often. And of course, you develop oracy. It's that's true, of course. Yeah. When they take part in a license in um, an official TEDx event or TEDx club, this is a special club that uh, is organized also by a TED organization. So they can actually write this information in their reference letters and their personal statements when they go to good universities. And this might help them to get into these universities. So this is a picture of a website where you can go and try to get a license. It's not a difficult process. It's just a thorough process. You need to analyze a lot of details and be accurate. And uh, actually when we um, license gives you an opportunity and rights to hold one uh, or one conference annually. Actually you do it once only, then you need to get your license again you just like you need to give evidences to that organization how well you conducted your conference and they give you the license again so it's given for only one conference but to do it annually once only it's it's not enough for students they want to speak more they want to present their ideas every day every week every month at least so, which is why we usually conduct NIS talks in our school. Well, name you choose yourself. Ask your students to choose the game that they would like to use. For example, Shimken talks, I don't know, maybe students talks, and uh, do it as often as you want. By doing this, you don't break rules of that organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is a picture of official website, TED. They show with the organizers. You can choose a co-organizer from your students. It also will give good points during enrollment process. And here you see like YouTube link for all our students' talks and they were published by TEDx Talks official YouTube channels. They have lots of subscribers. So it's really cool for students and of course motivational. Mm -hmm. And to hold weekly meetings with your students, you actually can get another type of license, and this is called TEDET Club. Uh, TEDET is also a part of TED organization. You, get, you again get a license. It's not a complicated process, just you need to be accurate. And then you can have weekly meetings with your students, and it's also official. By the end of the cycle, they also produce videos of their speeches. And if you have done it correctly, your videos will be published by official YouTube channel of TEDx, part of TEDx organization. So, um, student, you want to this one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Have you finished? Yeah, I have finished. Just if you have any questions about that, you can ask me right now or you can contact me after. Yeah. Why not? Or can they can, it. yeah, or you can write in our chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Here are Xenia, Xenia's contacts. So, dear teachers, dear colleagues, uh, uh, we're really glad to see you. 
uh, I'm happy to have this opportunity to see you online to uh, and uh, to have this opportunity to talk with you. So let me say about myself. I am Safarbaeva Zemir Abdikadirovna. I am a trainer of Center of Excellence, Shumkent branch. And uh, I started my work in Center of Excellence in um, 2012. So uh, I was a school teacher, by the way, I, I worked at local um, school in South Kazakhstan, uh, in, in the reach, in, in a little village, and I started my experience from there. So today uh, I want to um, uh, give some information about uh, this meeting. We, Ksenia, Baluza and me, uh, we want to organize English kind of English club that is called Speak Out, and uh, we suppose that we will meet with you every two months. And uh, uh, so, uh, if it, if it is possible, we will organize these meetings once a month. Uh, the purpose is to develop uh, teachers' speaking skills. Uh, to develop teachers' uh, professional competency in order uh, to help them to uh, raise their proficiency and to encourage teachers to, um, to develop their students' speaking abilities and to encourage their students to take part in TEDx talks. Yeah? Maybe you will also, uh, you will contact uh, Ksenia and ask your um, advices or recommendations how to get this license. And no. then, and then uh, I, I'm really uh, sure that uh, she will help you in this uh, process, uh, give you some recommendations, and then you can organize your uh, TED Talks, maybe just, uh, just talks students talks uh, with your students and um, have some experience and then get this license and have your TEDx talks. Yeah? You, as you heard, um, it is not as, um, it is not, it is against the law if you use this uh, abbreviation uh, TED uh, without license and uh, uh, every and if you do any um, activities with your students and you will call it like um, TED Talks or TED uh, Talks, Lenger TED Talks, Jitsai, uh, as you wish, it is against the law. So uh, before, uh, in order to take this um, license, you can contact our Ksenia. And today we are going to speak about um, the situation in the world, yeah, uh, about uh, this virus and about this um, uh, condition, your working condition, and about its advantages and disadvantages. And um, what point should we start with, Baluza? So I just would like to maybe try to attract teachers what they would say about it. For example, what challenges they are facing right now and what new skills have they acquired? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, mm -hmm. they had to change their style of teaching before mm -hmm. they had to use like traditional style and nowadays they are teaching online. So, so they now uh, definitely they've acquired new skills maybe just let's let our teachers to share the experience about it and uh, mm -hmm. share their opinions yeah what do you think yeah so you're welcome please and uh, uh, you can uh, share with us with your opinion just switch on your microphone and speak mm -hmm. yes teachers Please feel free, just don't, yes, it's not kind yeah. of formal, it's like informal <laughs> yeah. meeting, yes, and then this. As a microphone. To, uh... I think it's okay with the microphones, Anna. Um, dear colleagues, let me 
begin and uh, say what impacts this teaching online had on me. And maybe after I share my experience, other colleagues can just join and agree or disagree with me and so on, if you don't mind. Actually, this coronavirus epidemic uh, and it's here. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, and teaching online, this was really scary for me. I was scared when I went this spring teaching online. Yeah, because how is it possible to teach, to teach online without even seeing my students' faces? Because uh, internet problems here and my students cannot turn on their cameras because otherwise if they do it, um, we just stop communicating because of internet. So for me, it was the biggest challenge of all my teaching. What about you, dear colleagues? What was this like for you? Mm -hmm. Yes, nowadays it's really, for example, at the beginning, we really, when we had to like, uh, uh, it was in March for the first time and yeah. we didn't know how to teach. Yes, we tried to use all the possible messengers like WhatsApp and the Telegram to teach and uh, uh, lots of uh, like students and the teachers as well didn't know how to use this kind of Zoom, online teaching, nothing really. Mm -hmm. Just it was kind of maybe just we hardly ever had kind of meetings on Zoom, but uh, teaching was really hard. But nowadays, I think it's getting better and better. You know, for example, I've been teaching on Zoom since September, for example. It's almost two or even third month. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I have classes on Zoom and the students are really like adjusted mm -hmm. to this kind of uh, um, method of teaching. And then uh, as well, we, uh, you, we are using lots of resources to entertain, to make students speak. And as well, just uh, we try to adapt our online teaching to a traditional. However, we don't like see their physically or sometimes some uh, students feel um, uncomfortable to show their places. It's uh, one more just problem that uh, we cannot see some students. Mm -hmm. So they have to turn on their cameras and just to speak. But anyway, I can hear and that's enough for me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just from my experience, I see. Mm -hmm. And the, the second one, just uh, for example, I learned how to uh, to shoot my... Hello? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shoot okay. some like uh, videos for students, for example, especially for uh, like um, primary school or maybe secondary school class, secondary classes, uh, I try to shoot videos as like extra material mm -hmm. because sometimes uh, we just have to 30 to 40 minutes and uh, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. And I need just they sometimes need to extra explanation but the worst thing uh, for me is just we don't have kind of fixed uh, sh working hours so sometimes we have to work day and night mm -hmm. so we get some feedback from our students at night sometimes and uh, it might be, doesn't matter students don't care about our working hours <laughs> they yeah. send whenever they they are free or whenever mm -hmm. they can this is a, a like a kind of disadvantage of the corner yeah, of this yeah. online. Is it is it still the same way, or they have uh, they have adjusted and uh, you have some rules maybe? We have some rules. However, we cannot just give them strict rules. For example, again, is the internet problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have some students from different villages. So they have bad internet connection, sometimes really no internet connection, and uh, uh, we cannot just force them to send, you must send by this time. Yes, we say that it's the maximum the time that way, however, not always we can force them. We are happy when there is an answer from our students, yeah? <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, really. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The really. same situation with me with my teachers. Even someone, <laughs> some of them can give me the answer, send me the answers at two o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> The same, yes, yeah, the same with uh, students as well. And uh, however, I would like to thank the this Billim Land uh, like mm. developers. Mm -hmm. Yes, they've savored, they facilitated teachers' life really, because they ad um, like adapted and developed their resources according to our um, like uh, course plan. Mm -hmm. and we can find resources easily and mm. we have this kind of here yeah, um, tasks to do or so so our students can do that's really great okay mm -hmm. so yeah, so colleagues please join us uh, our purpose is not to develop our english i know that baluza's <laughs> english is very good no. and Kenya's no. english is Hi, perfect Paul. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. You're welcome, I'm yeah. Merced um, from Otra region. Of, uh, Otra region, which uh, this is historical place. First of all, I'm working of village teacher uh, at the village yeah. school. So advan we have a lot of advantages and disadvantages. So. Uh, you see if something we, wrong is with, yeah, with you. microphone. microphone. We can't hear you. No. No. Your microphone is turned off. Just a moment. No, yeah. do you hear me? It's okay. Yeah. Oh, we can. oh, oh, oh. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, no. it's okay. Yes. Uh, I'd like to tell you about the advantages and the disadvantages. First and first, I use this Zoom mm -hmm. with uh, Sapar by Vazemir Rahanam mm -hmm. when Thank we had you. a course mm -hmm. uh, for the first time. Previously, I don't use. We have uh, online classes on WhatsApp, mainly as all the teachers of this region do this in the mm -hmm. same way. But uh, in the central places like in Shaolder, Shamshu School, or in Jambal, Lyceums, they sometimes use this kind of Zoom, yeah, mm -hmm. Zoom with students. But you have to know that the social life here um, absolutely different. We cannot compare the uh, social life or life of the uh, conditions, yeah? uh, city uh, students because con conditions, I mean conditions, because, you know, even sometimes I have class with two or three students, but others don't. Uh, they are not online. I don't know why, but but when I ask the parents, they say, "Oh, we didn't have uh, internet connection and so on." We have problems with this. We cannot uh, follow the same way as you are doing in Shumken City, like Baluza or Ksenia Likulova or something. But we are trying to do our best. Mm -hmm. um, but step by step, you know that this is very. Uh, uh, like we are progressing. Uh, our teachers are moving forward. I mean, the, they know more technology, how to use the special uh, special uh, techniques and uh, interactions, uh, interaction with other teachers. Example, now I can see the advantage by looking at the teachers of English who has yeah. problems and uh, the condition during the coronavirus virus and uh, they are talking about the, the results, how they work and so on. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in some departments of education, they like uh, in some schools, uh, I have a lot of teachers who are contacting uh, with me. They say like, is it possible to have demonstrative lesson online uh, during 25 minutes? Mm -hmm. Good question. The question is for yeah. you, yeah. teachers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it possible? So uh, can I answer it? Yeah, I th think it's possible, you know, that it depends on what you are going to teach. For example, if you, uh, it depends on what you are going to deliver. For example, we <laughs> often, our like administration often joins our classes. Mm -hmm. Just uh, they even <laughs> don't inform us beforehand. So they say there's one minute left and say, I'm joining your class. 
And it's like, you know, that it's not just demonstrative classes. They say that your all class should be like demonstrative. However, you know, in such situation, maybe uh, like uh, they shouldn't judge strictly. They just try, it's like ex um, maybe sharing experience, uh, not judging you. They shouldn't judge you. They just, just uh, like to analyze how online education is going on. This is, so they are, it depends on their purpose of observing the class, I think. So they need to change their class observation. They don't just, uh, our, like lots of teachers and also maybe school administration uh, used to uh, like to criticize teachers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now, nowadays, yes, they are just only moving to a new style of teaching why they need to criticize. They shouldn't do it. They just support them, mm -hmm. help them. And the, their observation should be like purposeful, not criticizing, but to learn something new and to share with others, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like to add anything, Ksenia? Do you ha do, uh, have you had such experience? Um, many people usually attend my online lessons because it's like a rule. Lots of people control how well teachers conduct it on time or not on time, how many students attend classes. But I think it's possible. It's challenging, of course, for a teacher especially, but it's possible. Imagine how many people can attend one demonstrative lesson in traditional school. Maybe 10, maybe 20. It depends on the size of your classroom. But how many people can attend your online lesson? So it can be like 50 teachers. So it's possible it even can give you some opportunities to share your experience. But I think it's challenging. For example, for me, it would be challenging to choose a topic to organize students collaboration. So yeah, there are some advantages and disadvantages as well. So Ksenia, I think um, Ksenia and Baluza, it is going to be a good challenge for you for the second term and we're waiting for you such kind of a demonstrative lesson and we want uh, to uh, to be uh, in your to to see to watch your lessons and we will wait for it maybe it will be a part of your lesson but uh, we we really uh, wish to see this kind of experience am i right Narsi? No problem <laughs> Yeah, I think, yeah, I think other teachers also. Uh, I, 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 mm -hmm. I, I ha what do you think about the uh, lesson related to history? Okay. To history in English, of course. I, I'd like, I'm very eager to work with Ksenia's uh, students from NIS nice school, from uh -huh. Nazarbayev Inter Intellectual School. Okay. Uh, I think, I believe that their English is perfect. That's why it is very important to explain the history in English. I think it would be super. What do you think about this, Ksenia? And Baluza, maybe your students are very good, I think. Um, yeah, I know, but yes, but uh, I'm just, uh, we, my students are a little bit engaged with international projects. Mm -hmm. So they are having, uh, they yeah. having, yes, very soon, yes, they're having kind of discussion or, debate with Indonesia school and uh, I think they for now maybe next uh, uh, in January oh, okay mm -hmm. third term yeah so okay is yeah the, are my students ready to work on some project or um I I just didn't catch the question can you please like ask me again uh, Nursit, he, 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 Nursit, will you repeat your question? Yeah, for, for Ksenia. So what? My, 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 my question is, you, you know that, um, I know that your English is more progress, their English is perfect because they are students of Nice, I, Nazarbayev's uh, school. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make a lecture or lesson for them for mm. your students, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. who are very good at their English because you know that I have a part-time job at the museum. Mm-hmm. You know that I just wanted to make my English better. I just want to show you I'm in that room. Ah, These was... maps were located. Uh-huh. Uh, here located all the historical monuments of this region. I mean, the mm-hmm. lesson will be related to history and the maybe ethnography and archaeology. Of uh, Otrar, yeah? Otrar? In the excavations. And, yeah, of course, Otrar. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, by the way, on, on my web uh, page on Facebook, also, I've made a video uh, where I tried to explain what is the traditional vernacular houses like. Kizy, uh, Yurta in Russian, also in English. I made a presentation like slideshow with explanation, something, yeah. But in the near future, I'd like to talk about the block of flats or traditional Kazakh houses like Khorzuntam, Perimetnaya, Sunka. No, in English, it will be like the houses, vernacular houses were. Uh, leave it uh, our uh, ancestors. ancestors. Okay. So the location and the, how they created, uh, how they created this uh, uh, bricks or by using the turf and so on. Yeah. And this philosophy, yeah. And I mean, the, uh, I'd like to. Ha- I would like. I'd like to have a class related to history in it also ethnography and the archaeology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Related good, to good archaeology and yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Baluza and Ksenia, uh, yeah. will you? Uh, if, of course, it is. If it is in. Okay. <laughs> can you organize okay. your students? Uh, I think we can do it uh, in uh, vacation. Yeah, in in uh, students' vacation. I mean, after first term. And of course, if you, no uh, problem. Yeah, if you, you organize come. your students. Uh, I think uh, Nursiit will share with his experience about this um, great philosophy of uh, Kazakh nation when uh, uh, in, in one year there were um, some small families, yeah? Uh, three, for example, sons with their wives and yeah. the children, they lived all together and there were no uh, quarrels, I, I, I'm sure, no uh, um, bad atmosphere, maybe, yeah, and everything was so peaceful. And mm-hmm. nowadays, sometimes there, there isn't any peaceful uh, atmosphere in our house. When Big we houses. Are, yeah, <laughs> when we are just with Yeah, for peace. each baby, one room. Yes. One room yeah. <laughs> we live with only with our family. No uh, sister-in-law, no brother-in-law. Even uh, most just like nuclear family, the, yes. even with the nuclear family, we have some problems. Yes, Nursid, is it mandatory to visit the, uh, the museum? Yeah, super. Uh-huh. We, we have visitors nowadays. So, by the way, you can uh, organize your students to visit uh-huh. our region okay. with great pleasure. I will make a tour okay. to them. Maybe I can organize some tour also in Turkestan, but with the guide from Turkestan. I can have an agreement with them also, by the way, with my colleagues Great, yeah. from Turkestan yeah, also. By can... the way, Baluza, you're doing a uh-huh. good job. Great. <laughs> Thank it you very much. Great. It be... Last, uh, you know, two days ago, uh, yeah, two days ago, uh, Ksenia, listen to me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> two days ago, uh, the director of <laughs> Uh, listen to me, the, the show. The director of NIS, not from your school, from the biology or chemistry. Yeah, Instant biology. Yes. They came to this place and they like they are very interested. Uh, they are very interested in our museum, and uh, he said that okay, let's work uh, with uh, in corporation. Like let's organize something. Maybe we can create your museum's 3D format and so on. They can make a translation or like website or something like this, the students are more, more motivated, you know, I mean the IT uh, related to IT, yeah. And uh, how to say, they just want to work in cooperation with us, the students of NIS, uh, NIS, NIS, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank what do you, you think about Mr. This? Biology when, and just, oh. yeah. Uh, just I'm asking you to visit our land just to show you what you can see in our region to get acquainted with the history of this region 
and so on. Come, come, come. I'm inviting you. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So other colleagues, please. I'm sure you have something to say, please. So in the chat, we can see some yeah, comments about yeah. this uh, coronavirus. Teaching foreign language from distance is very difficult, but we are trying our best. Yes, any subject. Imagine math, how they are yeah. teaching chemistry. Yeah, it's really, yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah, you're Hello. welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how are you? Fine, thanks, Mirwet. I'm not. I'm at home, mm -hmm. so that's why I um, I don't like to watch my video. Okay. So how are you today? Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Doing well, thank you. Very well. Uh, yeah. All of you, my colleagues. Uh, so I want to say about online teaching. It's not. It has a good and a bad side. I think. So uh, mostly it's very difficult for uh, peoples uh, who live in a village because we don't have any um, advantages uh, about on uh, about internet. Okay. So uh, for example, when I uh, the, uh, in that time uh, the uh, pandemia has started yet, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was very difficult. We just uh, have our classes by WhatsApp only. And uh, now I started to work in the cities. So uh, it's not very difficult uh, because all pupils here have uh, a good um, internet. So it's not, now it's not difficult for me to have uh, classes online mm -hmm. because on, uh, mostly have opportunity to be on zoom for example so but um, especially it's very difficult for teachers I, uh, because foreign language it's not um, easy as our Kazakh Russian as other subjects mm -hmm. uh, it's foreign language so that's why um, each person, each teacher has to uh, improve themselves. But, uh, you know, uh, they have children, they have housework, they have parents, I don't know, they have many things to do at home. So sometimes it's very difficult to improve, to develop themselves, to go to somewhere uh, far from their houses. Uh, so that's why I think um, to teach uh, perfectly for people. Uh, this teacher has to have their uh, big, high knowledge of English. So that's why it's, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's very difficult for teachers because they don't go to school. They don't, uh, how to say, they don't search, study something, additional things mm -hmm. that uh, connecting with English mm -hmm. because it's English, you know, it, um, it, does, it doesn't have some final size. There are many uh, unknown words. Uh, so that's why it's very difficult for teachers, I think. Yeah. Well, and, uh, words, we have the big advantage that we have a lot of resources. I mean, yes. Mass, in English. For example, other subjects don't have such kind of a big amount of resources, but yes. English teachers, yes, they are lucky. We are lucky that we have really lot, a great deal of uh, resources. Of course, resources. there are many resources, but um, these persons should know these resources. Uh -huh. <laughs> if they don't know uh, yeah, these yeah. resources, I agree how, with to you. Search, how to find uh, yes. If they don't know it, this one, I think it's not important to have many resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, okay. this side. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And, uh, so I give really, uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. very um, hard for 11th grade, I think, uh, who mm -hmm. uh, has chosen uh, as additional English. subject uh, English. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we try to explain them uh, the grammar but 
uh, it's not um, it's not like to be in one place to see mm -hmm. each other like a set a set. It's it's very difficult to explain that. Yes, by one I line. can. Uh, here I can say that one more uh, problem with 11th grade, for example, when uh, during the national testing, they assess their grammar level. However, when they learn English, mm -hmm. their skills are assessed. So we don't focus on grammar. Yes. So there is kind of like controversial. Uh, this is some kind of gap between the educational program and the, the as final assessment. Yeah. I think yeah. it's not our problem. This is a problem of the <laughs> developers. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, uh, mostly uh, 11th grade pupils uh, started to choose English as an uh, additional subject uh, only uh -huh. they... <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, the, sometimes the third term, difficult. fourth term, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Uh, it is the matter yeah. of responsibility, yeah? And yeah, self yeah, yeah. and self re self regulation of our students. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, this is not our fault. This is the fault of system. <laughs> it <laughs> yes. should be, <laughs> yeah, it should I know, be but uh, reformed should by the this. educational system, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, for the Americans or English-speaking countries, they don't need our uh, gerund and infinitive or... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Participants, like, they have perfect. one problem. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Uh, w uh, they need the words like, where do you use yeah. present perfect continuous, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> future in the yes. past, something else. Also. Yeah. And uh, also we have a big problem also in the in the region. I mean that some schools have to attend schools. I mean the students has have to attend the schools. For example, my neighboring school, Sirgalif, this is former school of um Baluza. They just yeah, they they just they attend schools. The whole classes are at school uh -huh. every day from the nine until Maybe so. but the yeah, the students from our school, they should study online. I'm saying, why? Here you can say, I'm so jealous. Uh, <laughs> you miss I'm your so students, jealous. yeah? Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Just want to work at school. Then better, better than online, of mm -hmm. course. Okay. Only three uh, big schools uh, has uh, online lessons nowadays, but other schools have to study at school. I mean the primary students, students from primary schools. Mm -hmm. They have yeah. to attend the schools, not okay. Okay. ours and not Shamsha schools or only three schools. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can I see have, some uh, teachers. Yes, yes I get them. Yes. Uh -huh. And I can my speech. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, okay. We yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, um, especially for parents, I think they they are starting to be like like we, yeah, uh -huh. like teachers, uh -huh. yeah. Because we explain another side, and they try to explain another side at home. So uh, to do these tasks that we give give to people, and uh, especially for young learners mm -hmm. that uh, go to the first and the second grade. So um, I think that uh, very soon we'll start to go to school and uh, teach there, mm -hmm. like like offline. But we have, uh, we will have a big practice um, from this online teaching. Yeah. So we are trying to choose another better options for our children and for parents. So we'll show our best side. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Mary. Yes, thank you, mm -hmm. I think Aigirum uh, wants to say something. Yeah, Aigirum, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Aigirum or Shahista also wants to say something. Good day, dear colleagues. May I ask some question? Yeah. Or only one question. <laughs> okay. I'm Shahista from Turkestan City. Mm, I have one question for you. Uh, nowadays, our learners, they have not only uh, bad per, uh, pronunciation. That is why, uh, dear colleagues, how do you improve your learners' uh, pronunciation skills? And nowadays, it's a uh, it's big problem. Even our teachers have their not good pronunciation uh, 
That is why, how do you improve your learner's pronunciation at, uh, at your online uh, lessons? Mm -hmm. Okay, Baluza, Ksenia, I don't have any students. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I always speak English. I never speak other language in my classes, never. I just, even when I explain, doesn't matter it's a primary school, doesn't matter it's secondary or high school, I just speak English and they try to catch what I speak and try to read and they think that, and there are some kind of uh, like, uh, how to say, uh, platforms mm -hmm. where we cover reading and the listening at the same time and then you can play it. And uh, this, I think this kind of more listening and can I share one uh, to show something uh, that one browser can help you with pronunciation? Can I share it? Yeah, of course. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Will you write it in our chat? Uh, no, no, on no. Just screen. Say. Yeah. Okay. Yes, on my screen. So, if you use if you use uh, uh, Microsoft Ten. We have here the browser Microsoft Edge. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. This yeah. is an icon Microsoft. Mm -hmm. If I click it, so this, uh, what I like about this one, this uh, here, for example, if I choose any topic to read, doesn't matter which one, for example, any reading topic, there you have this immersive reader. For example, imagine I need this uh, article so I want my students to listen or read. I just click on Immerse Reader and I can see this article separately. Mm -hmm. Then what I do there, I choose the text preferences. For example, I can just change the color like mm -hmm. that. And also when uh, reading, I can just choose the line focus. For example, five lines, three lines, one line, mm -hmm. and then if I, if you need, you can translate the whole text into Kazakh. For example, uh -huh. please translate into it's Kazakh. Cool. Yeah. Easy and cool. Turn off. Then, one more thing. What is I like grammar tools? For example, if you need some focus on nouns, for example, if you want your students to see just nouns, mm -hmm. you can see here the nouns. Mm -hmm. If you need a verbs, mm -hmm. voila, you can see verbs, and it's oh, a show show okay. labels. And then the second one is reading. For example, I need, if my students uh, like a challenge, they have problems with reading. So I choose it like syllables. For mm -hmm. example, you can see I've chosen, uh, let me turn off this one. And I turned into syllables. So you can see here, so words mm -hmm. are separated into syllables, mm -hmm. then I ask just to read this program aloud. Wow, that's really cool. More abundant than one's thought. Here I have voice options. For example, I can see slow, normal, wow. fast. There I can that's choose. That's really cool. American, for example, accent if I need, or British accent you need, mm -hmm. and or Russian accent even if you want. Please, that's wow. uh, this is. For years, scientists have worked to uncover the mist. This is. And it's very easy. And I try to use this application in my online classes. And uh, then, um, what else uh, here? Yes, text preferences I showed. For example, if I see like that or that, please, you can read. Well, on my own surface, maybe my abundant than on stout. For years, oh, she have worked to Russian. uncover the mysteries of, of water on the moon. Now, two new studies published in Nature Astronomy confirm that confirm that water may be found all over the lunar surface. Wow. Copyright NASA. Why not to try it? Yeah, of For course. Example, yes, I just Thank try to. Good idea. I, yes, I always use this uh, browser. Lots of people think that Google browser, Google browser, but Microsoft browser, this Microsoft Edge is really great. It's for teaching. Thank you, Balusa. Thank you for sharing with your experience. I think it was very useful for our teachers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions or any volunteers to speak? It's real cool, Balusa. Huh? Janat, would you, would you like to share with us with your opinion? Marzasha or Janat? 
maybe lazat maybe gulnas i fool you we have uh, 46 uh, english teachers in our chat good morning dear colleagues morning zemira uh, safar uh, i am very glad to meet you and you. Uh, to have this chance to speak to listen to uh, our colleagues and of course, today we have some difficulties with this teaching. And uh, let's introduce myself. I'm from Kazgur region. I work in ordinary school. And for many people, not having a classroom and a set classroom times can make it difficult to remember to check in mm -hmm. or even to want uh, to check in. It's important for you to have all the motivation mm -hmm. necessary within yourself to look at the website, complete the assignment and get them in on time, even though everything is still required to be completed on a timely basis. And just like with a more tradi a traditional classroom atmosphere. For those who don't have the self-motivation, these classes can result in spending a lot of money of the taking classes because you forget an assignment, I think. And uh, next great difficulty for me, it's staying in contact within uh, with any colleagues. Uh, if you have trouble with a uh, assignment or questions about a lecture while in a traditional class, it's generally quite simple to talk to your teacher before or after class. Uh, but mm -hmm. this way, nowadays, we haven't this chance. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very happy that I have a chance to uh, know about Baluza's. Uh, what is? Browser. No, this is browser. browser. Mm -hmm. Microsoft Edge browser. Okay. A okay. uh, chance to improve uh, the pronunciation, the reading, listening as well. Yeah. The vocabulary work. Uh, mm -hmm. to uh, grammar, children's grammar, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you for this browser. Okay. And good luck. For Thank you, you Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Bill Gates. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Yes. okay. Thank you, Janat. Janat Hanum. Thank you very much. Any other people? Uh, we see Kalmarzaeva Gulmira. Okay, you are welcome. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. My name is Gunira. Okay, uh, glad to see you, glad to hear you. And I'm very appreciate all of you because this kind of uh, conversation is um, what is needed at this time, yes? Best of all. Uh, and um, I would like to say that the coronavirus, yes, really has changed uh, the way we work, the way we live. And, uh, and of course, there are such kind of advantages that uh, uh, we can uh, have access to such kind of training courses, yeah. During my lesson, for example, right now I have uh, got a lesson. And uh, the disadvantage that uh, Baluza said that we don't have any specific schedule right now. And uh, I have got a question for you, uh, for my trainers. Mm, uh, right now, uh, could you please um, give us some um, uh, tip or some advice about listening tips for example uh, my students uh, they don't have facilities to connect to zoom or even if i call uh, for them by video call they also have not any facilities they have not network how uh, how can i evaluate my pupils for example if they don't have any access to a zoom to a video calls or some audios so can you please give me some advice or some tips on this yeah. question Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this case, I just record my voice on WhatsApp, Gulmira, and uh, I have some students, such students who has just can connect to WhatsApp but cannot connect to Zoom. Mm -hmm. I just separately 
Yes, uh -huh. uh, not, record not, my voice. Yes, I know this. I'm recording it. Yes, I know. But the problem that the student, for example, uh, ho the home task, for example, uh, will be retelling of some texts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, when my students struggle with uh, connecting me face to face, mm -hmm. they can pre-record their Sorry. own music and send me in WhatsApp. Of course, it's difficult to evaluate. I'm, I'm not sure if they read it or if they told it themselves. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you check their mistakes and if you notice maybe small mistakes, you see that your students did it themselves without yeah. help, without reading text. So mm -hmm. if they pre-record their answer, you can open WhatsApp, listen and evaluate. It's maybe only one and uh, the most useful, convenient way to do it now. Actually, you can feel the difference between when the student reads, yeah. is reading and when there's a student, because Literally. if the student's really <laughs> speaking, mm -hmm. yes, Mm -hmm. He or she yeah, has no. kind of uh, pauses, sometimes mistakes or hesitation. Uh, yeah, you always yes. feel different. Yes, if your yes. students really. work, or if it's not your students' work, if he just copied or cheated a little bit, you yeah. usually feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as you know, that today's our students they are very silly and they are very smart. So. If the, there is, uh, for example, the task to retell the given text by audio, by WhatsApp audio, as I know, uh, they will ask me to send their retelling by audio WhatsApp, yeah? They do in this way. They are read the text, the sentences, and then they include in their uh, sentences the uh, just linking words. For example, in my mind, I think blah, 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 blah. And therefore, blah, blah, blah. In this Type, I cannot do anything, for example, and I have to mark them in an excellent mark, for example. Mm. You can challenge like that. You can paraphrasing, yes? change and uh, maybe paraphrasing as well. You can uh, just first send the assessment criteria, which mm -hmm. can be really challenging for them. For example, try to use the construction used too. Yeah. The second is to use something like this use uh, for example uh, linking words like therefore mm -hmm. and they have to look for how to use it how to paraphrase it how to choose it or specific words you must use these five words in your speech correctly yeah. not in one Great idea. Like this. you can challenge it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i often do it like this i send first five assessment criteria and say this is your assessment criteria for writing as well for speaking and there when i assess if it's cheated, I see. So it's cheated. My assessment criteria, this one. So you get one or zero. In this case, okay. you can challenge like that. Yes, thank you very much. But uh, as you know, this is the advance, disadvantage to us, to, to, uh, to teachers, because it's an additional task for us to prepare no, them. No, assessment criteria is mandatory. Uh, mandatory. Yeah. Yes. Assessment okay, criteria, but... yes, for speaking for all of your tasks are mandatory. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <thank> you. <laughs> speaking and for writing, we can't do without yeah. it. Because yes, we cannot assess without assessment criteria. Mm -hmm. Because these two skills are productive skills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is not reading. It is not true-false task. Where, okay, if, if it is true-false or multiple-choice test, we don't need any criteria, yeah, any assessment criteria. But when we speak about uh, productive skills, we have to give, absolutely, we have to give them assessment criteria. Yeah, and if you involve your students in mm -hmm. doing the assessment criteria, this might be very useful. For example, you can ask your students, okay, so how will we assess your work? What should we do? How many new vocabulary items you should use? Uh, what grammar constructions did we study? Which of them should we use? How many sentences should we rephrase? So if your students suggest new ideas how their work will be assessed, then when you uh, include this information in your assessment criteria, they will not ask you questions. Why did you give me this mark? Or maybe I haven't looked at the assessment criteria, so I didn't know if they suggest themselves. Mm -hmm. So 
who are absolutely honest with them, just like an idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, Gulmira, uh, I think our speakers uh, answered your question. Any other questions, colleagues? Please be Hi. active. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Gulmira. Uh, other? We are Nigora Gulna, so there are a lot of us. Please speak. Uh, let's uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, what what did uh, COVID teach you? Uh, did you get did you get any new skill? It doesn't matter if it is a pedagogical skill or just a skill that is needed for for woman, for mother, for uh, for teacher. It's okay, or maybe for human being. Did you get any uh, good uh, skill? New skills. New yeah. skill. The new skill that makes your life a little bit better. Please. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh. you, can, you can write your answer on our chat, maybe, if it is uh, a little bit difficult for you to speak. <coughs> but I would, I really want to know your answer for this question. Yeah. May I say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, this uh, coronavirus uh, gives me opportunity uh, to be close with my uh, with my God, with my Allah, and uh, because of <laughs> because of this, in this time, um, uh, I stay at home uh, with the helping my uh, ch child children, and at the same time, to um, to be a close with Allah. Uh, and to do the things uh, at the end, because uh, I think the switch of the uh -huh. so the advantages. Uh, sorry, okay. Friend. Okay, uh, just so, one, just one mm -hmm. sentence I would like to say that um, <laughs> due to coronavirus system, due to online teaching, uh, we have learned how to use different types of programs. For example, mm -hmm. yes, uh, today we have learned also one uh, type of program is Microsoft Edge, yeah, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much for this, Balozapai. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We become more IT, digital uh, competent. <laughs> yeah, IT competence. Yeah? yeah, good, good. Thank you. And uh, Nigora, yeah, I think Nigora was, uh, was answered. Uh, answered. Shahista, 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 yeah. Uh, she gave us good, uh, good answer. Good answer, okay. Spirituality, it is a part of our life, yeah. And uh, we really need this feeling, uh, these high um, emotions, and our belief in God is in our heart. Okay, thank you. Any other volunteers? May I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lezat. Hello, everyone. So Hello, Zemira Blikadirov. Lezat, давай, Lezat, давай. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, we uh, stay at home. Yeah. Uh, and we evaluate uh, each other and evaluate our school, our children, students. Yeah. Um, and we, we have learned uh, how do we use uh, Zoom and any messengers. And for, for me, uh, today, Baluza uh, said about Microsoft Edge. Mm -hmm. And this is for uh, this is news for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and our uh, in the village uh, internet uh, is very slowly. Mm -hmm. 
but our children try uh, to try uh, study, try to study. Mm -hmm. um, and in, in the city, in, in a town, uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people uh, have got Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm hmm Lizard, we don't hear you. Mm hmm ah. Okay. And, uh, I would, uh, I would to say, uh, we, mm -hmm. we have learned any messengers, mm -hmm. any, uh, we have learned, uh, I think, uh, a lot of p uh, teachers, have learned uh, how they use uh, these platforms, mm -hmm. Zoom or Classroom or Bloom, Bloom Land and Darren Online. Good. Mm -hmm. And may, uh, like, and this pandemia, um, I think will have finished in this year or next year and i do hope <laughs> yes we yes hope so and we uh we will you are meet. missing your children Karoche, da? yes Reza? yes you are mi yes. missing your children yes yeah. thank you thank you much thank you so much thank Lizard. You mm -hmm. thank you. thanks for your scaffolding thank you mm -hmm. goodbye bye Thank you, Lazat. Uh, that was uh, a good uh, piece. Yes, uh, I, yes, I could, Hanama. Huh? I could. I am from Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. and uh, as uh, every every teacher in our country or many other countries, we face different problems in um, during this coronavirus pandemic. It great. It makes a great effort uh, or impact. I'm sorry. Uh, on the whole life of people of the world yeah. and uh, of course to our school life and teaching uh, during these uh, conditions. Mm -hmm. So I want to share with you our, my problem. Uh, I face it every day because uh, in our village we have families when uh, there are five or four students mm -hmm. and they have lessons at one time. Mm. And they have only one computer and uh, or one cell phone. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, parents take their cell phones and go to work. Mm -hmm. And students uh, have difficulties uh, in joining to the lesson. Mm -hmm. And uh, they uh, get their uh, task and do it late in the evening. Mm -hmm. This is a problem for me. And as for me, during this uh, coronavirus pandemic, I, I searched for different opportunities to teach students uh, by different programs. I studied Jamboard, Padlet, but uh, mm. I cannot say that I used them. Uh -huh. I only studied, and maybe someone of you uses these programs, maybe you will share your opinion. And I also studied Microsoft Meet, uh, Google mm -hmm. Meet, Great. but, yes. uh, but uh, we have to pay for it. The price is rather high. That's why I didn't use it. Mm -hmm. uh, I studied, uh, I think I know, but I couldn't afford me to use them because uh, we have to pay much for them. So I'm yes. still learning how to make our students' life e easier mm -hmm. in the meaning of teaching English. And I uh, search through internet and uh, use very often uh, ingvideo.com. Uh, this is the site when um, e native speakers, uh, English and American, uh, conduct their lessons. We have, um, we have many 
of them in the internet and we can find any theme any item grammar vocabulary and so on so i use it uh, for my children uh, i send them videos and this is the best way to master their pronunciation mm -hmm. thank you great thank you very much for attention mm -hmm. it was very uh, useful Mm -hmm. to meet with you, uh, to listen to different opinions. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aigul Hanam. Thank you for you for sharing with us, with your experience. So, dear colleagues, I think it's high time to have uh, lunch. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, so, uh, even Olme can give us a little tip with, uh, with, with a mug. It's time to have your tea, probably. So thank you very much. Sorry. Thank you very much. And you see, uh, I've got them. I uh, I want to show you just a minute. Zamira mm Pai. -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I am from Mangastau, and uh, this uh, wow. online meeting is so amazing. <laughs> Mm, yes, thank you so much for organizing my it. My hometown. Oh, <laughs> I, yes, my hometown is Aktau. <laughs> Great. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Nursit mm Agai. -hmm. Last year I used your tests. Thank you so much. Oh, good. <laughs> it was so good. useful. So and useful this meeting. meeting. Yeah, meeting is useful too. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, I want to thank you. Such a great online meeting. Mm, thank you for sharing with your experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I want to ask you, uh, I, uh, we use uh, WhatsApp uh, uh, in our teaching mm -hmm. and it's sometimes boring. Just we uh, mm -hmm. send videos uh, or mm -hmm. links or recording. Every mm -hmm. lesson have mm -hmm. its uh, own video. It's sometimes boring for students. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. They yeah. just uh, clean the chat sometimes mm -hmm. and ask again what to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think it's a great problem for us. Okay. We're trying to write it, but uh, we need speaking, we need listening too. Yeah, definitely. That's Actually, why. The language, I think, is about listening and speaking. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they answer, we give them a uh, task for speaking, but they prefer to write it. Mm. I don't know why. Um, you see, I think you can use WhatsApp, WhatsApp uh, uh, chat as uh, a speaking tool, yeah? You can invite mm -hmm. four or five students in WhatsApp and have a little discussion with these four or five students at, for example, four o'clock. Then at 4.20, you will have your uh, little discussion with another five students in WhatsApp chat uh, uh, with the help of uh, inviting the students in WhatsApp. Is it, uh, I, I think it's not so hard, yeah? Am I right? Sometimes yes, we, we chat but they, this uh, way but with, our, with our friends, with our relatives, yeah? If you want to talk with three sisters or with three my friends, we use this WhatsApp chat and talk all at the same time. So, <laughs> and have a really good talk. So you can use it with your students if you really wish to, to develop their speaking skill, then do this way, uh, work in small groups and uh, mm -hmm. chat with them, then uh, uh, you can move to another small group. Mm -hmm. Ksenia? And to make your lessons more interesting, sometimes I try to use different kinds of materials. For example, some jokes, maybe anecdotes, mm -hmm. memes. There mm -hmm. are lots of them you can choose. Or try to use some challenging and controversial questions. Yeah. For example, should women be allowed to drive cars? Mm -hmm. So we have yeah. a lot of students to discuss and debate. Yeah. So the more controversial questions are, the more students want to express their opinions. Because yes. all women or girls in your class will be for boys mm -hmm. and games. And yeah. which is why they are debating. 
They have to argument. Uh, they have to give good arguments in order in, in order to prove their uh, point of view. That so is if you find, yeah, good. And if you find, sorry, but I'm sorry, sorry. So if no, you find continue, one, continue. If you find one hook for a lesson, for example, one interesting topic, one interesting joke, mm -hmm. it might be enough to catch your students' attention and then give yeah. them boring grammar, boring reading, and so on. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Zamira let's continue. They don't want to leave this chat. Uh, okay. From step by step, it's, it's, I know that it's very uh, interesting. Yes, so I, I know that Balusa has she has a really hard schedule. Yeah, and Ksenia yeah. also. Yes, and also I'm now. free. Oh, really? I'm free. Okay, yeah. it, it, you don't okay. have any housework. That's why you are free. Of course. And I'm okay. having dashirak. Uh huh. <laughs> and your coffee? And coke. Oh. Yeah. Uh, unhealthy. So Don't nice talk. to meet you. Meet all of you. I'm very glad to see you, Ksenia, for the first time. I didn't know you before previously. Baluza is my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, Zamira Pai is my teacher. Tajiba Bajiba, related to Tajiba Bajiba. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much to get acquainted with other teachers who are in chat. I think in the near future, this chat mm -hmm. will be more attractive and more teachers will be included here. Yeah, I'm very hope hope, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in the future, I will work in cooperation. We will, uh, don't hesitate, just ask what you want, because here we can see the experienced teachers, as you know, from Nice and from uh intellectual school baluza mm -hmm. and of course our super zamira hanum thank you so much thank yeah. you very much. so uh let's uh, i think yeah it's high time to finish our discussion thank you for all participants thank you for um being with us and to being with us this one hour and 20 minutes and I really hope next time, I really hope to see all of you and may, maybe more of you and being active and to speak, to share with your experience and to share with your uh, opinion. And now uh, you, you see, I want you, I want you. This is Instagram account, yeah? Uh, you see, it was uh, rather difficult for me this time to, um, to, to, to send this uh, uh, advertisement, yeah? Uh, 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 about 40 minutes I had to use my mobile phones and all my cont contacts, yeah? And now let's do this way. You have to be, uh, to use this account in Instagram and all our announcements will be published there. Am I right, Baluza? What okay. do you think? <laughs> I think that yeah, this is a good idea. This was the only way I thought to be able to send all the messages on the phone, to sit in the chat, all the messages that I have with me. I decided to do it so that all the participants will be able to be on this Instagram account. It will be just like that. Educational, educational. И следующий тайм, next time, когда у нас будет митинг, мы объявим вот на этом, на этой страничке. И мы сделаем, please, разошлите, пожалуйста, другим English teachers тоже. Пусть они подписываются, там больше никакой лишней информации не будет. Единственное, что будет, у меня есть свой YouTube-канал, где я снимаю только educational videos. Uh, если у меня будут какие-то вот как, как раз тоже было что я уже сняла одно видео, выклала, как оценивать speaking ability. Я там немножко сделала анализ этих критерий. Жа Макс Ким да, критерии ли это талдап, кшкине сужерде цунтеме бирдем. Балан айтун да цунхалай багало кирик тык жунди. Сонтан госндай тек хана Educational maqsadda da purpose gana qoldanamiz. We will use it only for educational purpose. Uh, especially for the for that purpose when the next meeting will be. And the topic of the next meeting. And I think Baluza and Ksenia will help me to give you some um, vocabulary list for, for that topic. 
if if we are going to speak about, uh, for example, next time, if we are going to speak about like teacher profession, uh, uh, so we will try to give you some vocabulary list in order to encourage you to talk. And we are not going to judge you. Just uh, it is a good experience to develop our speaking language speaking skills yeah it is for me such a great chance to develop my speaking skills because i teach only uh, i teach uh, in kazakh yeah and uh, in russian so i start to forget my english and it's really pity for me and shame sometimes i can't find um, appropriate words and uh, i'm shamed so uh, I, I really, I, I'm really happy to have this opportunity to be with Baluza and with Ksenia and to be with all of you, dear uh, participants, our and have this chance to talk with you in English, in English. So, Ksenia, Baluza, will you say anything? Okay. I'd like to thank you all of you. Mm -hmm. Next time i do hope you join our conversation club dear colleagues thank you very much for taking so active part here and we have here our experience not officially like um in, in a not traditional way because seminars webinars they are a little bit boring when you just listen 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 and do not often you apply it in the practice, even if you try, but when we do it in a, in a free way, so I think it can be even more useful for all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much.